on this this is our last problem on our, our review. Uh, here we have a tank problem. The tank initially holds 300 gallons of water with 50 pounds of dis dissolved salt. I'm going to uh, let the amount of salt in the tank be represented by the function A of T. A is the amount of solvent in the tank at time T. So here I have 50 pounds of salt initially. A of 0 is equal to 50. Uh, we have uh, a brine solution that contains 2 pounds of salt being pumped in at a rate of 3 gallons per minute. So let me draw just a real quick little, little graph. Here's my tank. It has 300 gallons of water. It has 50 pounds of salt. And into the tank, I've got 2 pounds of salt per gallon. 2 pounds per gallon. And it's coming in at a rate of 3 gallons per minute at 3 gallons per minute. That's coming in. And then leaving the tank, uh, once it comes in, it gets stirred well and it's pumped out at the th same rate. So I have 3 gallons per minute. And the amount that's being pumped out is A, that's how much salt is in the tank at any time, A pounds per 300 gallons. The tank will always have 300 gallons. 300 gallons. That's A pounds over 300 gallons at 3 gallons per minute. Uh, the question here is uh, express the amount of salt as a function of time. So first find a t, a of t, and then how long will it take for the tank to contain 125 pounds of salt? So when is a of t equal to 125? pounds. Our differential equation is going to look at the rate of change of salt in the tank over time. And that rate of change of salt depends upon the amount of salt coming in. We have it coming in at 2 pounds per gallon times 3 gallons per minute. And we have it leaving at A pounds per 300 gallons times 3 gallons per minute. So our differential equation is dA dt is equal to 6 minus, here I can cancel out the 3's, and I get A over 100. Notice that this differential equation is linear. If I bring this A term over to the left side, then I have it written in linear form, dA dt plus 1 over 100 times A is equal to 6. And we can introduce an integrating factor, which is E raised to the integral of 1 over 100. Integrate with respect to T, and we get E raised to the t over 100 is the integrating factor. So multiplying each term in the equation by e raised to the t over 100, we get e raised to t over 100 times dA dt plus 1 over 100 times e raised to t over 100 times a equals 6e t over 100. 
and the left side of the equation can be rewritten as a single derivative d dt of e to the t over 100 times a. To undo this derivative, we want to integrate both sides. And on the left side, when you integrate, the integration and the derivative cancel each other out. They leave you with e to the t over 100 times a is equal to, on the right side, when you integrate this exponential function, you're going to uh, have to divide by the coefficient of, of t. Uh, that 6 is a constant, so the 6 just carries, carries out. You get the exponential back. And then you want to divide by 1 over 100, which is the same as multiplying by 100. And so here, notice we're going to get 600 e to the t over 100. From here, we want to isolate the a. And to isolate the a, you can multiply by e to the negative t over 100. It'll give us our the general solution, which is a of t equals here I have 6 times 100, that gives us 600. Multiplying by e to the negative t over 100 will cancel out this e to the t over 100. And then I'll still get plus c e to the negative t over 100. This is our general solution. And then if I use the fact that a of 0 is equal to 50, I can solve for c. So let's get our particular solution. a of 0 is equal to 50. That 0 in this exponent will make that whole exponent 0. So that exponential part drops out. And all I have to do is subtract off 600 from both sides of the equation to get my constant. So negative 550 is equal to my constant. And my particular equation is going to be a of t is equal to 600 plus c. Well, c is negative 550 minus 550 uh, e to the negative t over 100. That's my equation, and now I want to find how much time will pass before I have 125 pounds of salt in the tank. Okay, so let me do that over here. I'm going to just change the color slightly. Here, I want to find a of t I don't know, that looks like the same color almost. Find out when a of t is equal to 125. That's going to give me 125 is equal to this right side of the equation is equal to 600 minus 550 e to the negative t over 100. We want to isolate this exponential. So we want to start by subtracting 600 from both sides of the equation. That's going to give you a negative 475 equals negative 550 
e to the negative t over 100. And then divide both sides by negative 550. Here on the left side, I know I can simplify. The negatives will cancel out. And gosh, if I reduce by 25, it's going to be 19 times in the numerator. And 25 would be 22 times in the denominator. That should, re should reduce to 19 over 22 is equal to e to the negative t over 100. You take the natural log of both sides, you get the natural log of 19 over 22 is equal to negative t over 100 because the natural log of this exponential, those are inverses, they'll cancel out. And then multiply both sides by negative 100. And we get negative 100 natural log of 19 over 22 is equal to t. Okay, I can type this into my calculator. There's my calculator again. And here I have, I have to turn it on first. Negative 100 natural log of 19 divided by 22 gives me 14.66. T is approximately 14.66. I know I have a lot of programs open. 14.66. Uh, and units are in minutes. 14.66 minutes. After 14.66 minutes, there will be 125 pounds of salt in the tank.